Welcome to Electron Line. Our next example has an x in the numerator. The integral of x dx divided by a squared plus x squared. And that actually makes it really easy to integrate because since we have an x squared in the denominator, we need an x dx in the numerator. Well, not quite an x dx, and we'll see in just a moment why. We're going to let the denominator equal u. So let u equal a squared plus x squared, then du dx will be equal to 2x, and so du will be 2x dx, or dx can be replaced by du divided by 2x. So that's the trick that we use. We simply use a substitution of u, and when we plug that into our integral, we get the integral of, instead of x, no, we're going to leave x there, let's leave x there, but instead of dx, we're going to write du divided by 2x, and then in the denominator, instead of a squared plus x squared, this becomes u. Now luckily, notice that this x will cancel out this x, and the 1 over 2 can be taken out of the integral sign, so this becomes 1 half times the integral of du over u. And of course, that's easy to integrate, that becomes equal to 1 half times the natural log of u, plus a constant of integration. Of course, we should put absolute value signs around it so that to prevent u from going negative. Or if it does go negative, we don't have to worry about it. Now we're going to substitute back in what u is equal to. So this becomes equal to 1 half times the natural log of a squared plus x squared plus a constant of integration. So this becomes just a simple substitution of a squared plus u squared or a squared plus x squared equals u. Well, and for those who have done many of these, there's actually an easier way or a quicker way to do an integral like that. So let me show you how to do it in the fast way. Let's say we have the integral again of x dx divided by a squared plus x squared. And then we realize that in the denominator we have a squared plus x squared, and the differential of the denominator is 2x dx. So if we take the denominator and we look for the differential, we need a 2x dx in the numerator. But we don't have a 2x dx, we only have a x dx, which means that I can multiply the numerator by 2 and then divide by 2. So now I have a proper differential in the numerator, which now allows me to say that this can be solved by taking the natural log of that. So this can now be written as 1 half times the natural log of a squared plus x squared plus a constant of integration. In other words, since in the numerator I have the differential of the denominator, I can simply now take the natural log of that. And so we can accomplish the very same thing that we did here by simply recognizing we need the differential of 2x dx in the numerator, so I can take the natural log of that. And that's how it's done as well.